Hello, my name is Sam Kim, and I'm the producer of Terra. And I'm Stefan Ramirez, the associate producer, and we presented Terra at E3 2010. What you're about to experience is a cut-down version of the Terra press demo that was given behind closed doors at our E3 booth. Participants had the opportunity to experience the intense action combat in Terra and to play as five out of the eight total playable classes to take down the evil Captain Martyr. Keep in mind that this isn't a trailer. It is a cut down version of our demo and is built entirely from footage captured during one of our sessions. We're going to boil this down to a five minute recap that gives you a taste of the experience. So let's begin with a quick overview of the classes we'll be playing. The Berserker has two main mechanics that we'll focus on during the demo her block ability and her wide swinging attacks. The block ability allows her to mitigate a lot of damage and get up close to swing her giant axe. The warrior is all about fast attacks and the dodge ability. The dodge allows him to evade danger and engage quickly with his two swords. The slayer's arsenal includes his humongous sword and his ability to dodge. While his attacks do take some time to prime up, the slayer can engage in multiple ability combos to wreak havoc on his enemy. The Sorcerer is our Firecracker, dealing incredibly high damage, but having low defense. She casts powerful spells from a safe distance to avoid danger. The Priest, with a focus on healing, is a difficult yet essential class within Terra. The Priest must maintain the party's health while deftly maneuvering to gain position and ensure the party's success. Needless to say, I've been the healer for all demos given its difficulty. A little bit about the setting. This demo takes place on Mistmore Island, one of the 80 rich and diverse environments of Terra. Players banded together as stewards of the Valkyan Federation to take down Captain Marduk and his band of pirates and slavers who had been using Mistmore Island as their base of operations to enslave citizens of the Valkyan Federation. We'll start here at the docks. From here, we'll make our way up the beach towards our first encounter, the Red Last Dreadnought. The Red Lash Dreadnought is a good example of what we call a party mob. Party mobs are still soloable with a considerable amount of player skill, which brings us to the action combat system. Terra is a true action MMO, which means you must aim where you intend to strike, and you must jump, dodge, run, get out of the way to avoid damage. So notice that healer actually walking away, trying to stay away from the monster while he's directing his heals towards his party members. Player skill is also a huge component of the action combat system and understanding a monster's characteristics is essential. Players must focus their attention on the center of the screen to understand what the monster is doing in relation to themselves and their party members. Every monster has a unique set of abilities and spells and will give you a hint prior to using its big attacks. Bam, all right, you see right there, he just dropped his massive claws into the sand. Anybody nearby was stunned or knocked down. So right before that, he gave you a special hint or a tell. He reared back, he raised those massive claws up in the air, and you had about one second to get out of the way. The Dreadnought was but the first encounter, and after taking him down, we still need to work our way out of the beach and towards Captain Marduk's lair. As we infiltrate Captain Marduk's lair, we'll encounter several groups of lesser monsters which will help familiarize everyone with some of their characters' advanced skills and party dynamics. I love the Butchers. These guys get so angry when they don't like somebody, they actually call them out. Every time someone new picks up the game, it's great to see how quickly they learn their advanced skills and engage their roles within the party. Warriors are mixing in their newly learned stun ability. Sorcerers really start timing their charge spells well. Slayers begin chaining skills together. Berserkers come into their own with their knockdown ability. And our healer, well... The healer is always awesome. I attribute all successes to the healer and all failures to the lack of skill of the party. And now it's time to face Marduk. Captain Marduk is a serious challenge requiring players to apply everything we've covered during the demo, including basic skills, advanced skills, and party dynamics. All right, whoa, right there. That's Marduk's stun ability. That's one of his special attacks. You'll notice right before he did that, he tapped his front foot twice, he reared back, and then he slammed the ground. Anybody close by, you were severely damaged, and you're definitely stunned. What you want to do is look for that tap. When he taps that foot, get out of the way. And that ties into what we're talking about when we say player skill is a huge component to Terra's combat. Timing, placement, direction, teamwork, and communication are all key elements to Terra's action combat. And Marduk is down. Nice one. We want to thank you for taking the time to watch this recap of our demo. And definitely check out terra-online.com for any and all updates regarding our focus group tests and betas. Signing up for the newsletter will keep you updated on everything that's going on and make sure that you know how to get into the upcoming tests. Check out.